<laughs> Things make the rounds for sure. But we are going to be getting it. <laughs> Here we go. Game getting a game floor. Dancello versus Mikol, two of the most explosive players in this venue right now. Dancello looking to confirm me on that statement. I mean, you guys already know if you were here for the last set how explosive Mikol is. Danzel looking to show you, hey, I'm here to play. And there have been so many Zetters in this bracket, but I think Dan's the last one standing. Right. Uh, uh, the real man bowed out at ninth. If you, I guess you want to count Elkie's like pocket Zetter or something. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I think she counts. Uh, there was Jubilo in the bracket as well, who I know was in Redemption. The forward air going to be taking off Mikol pretty early on. Great start from Danzello, but Mikol looking to strike back. Mikol, mm -hmm. um... He, he, has, he was also in uh, top 16 of Rivals 2 today, but this is the game that he's been looking forward to uh, more throughout the weekend. So it'll be interesting to see how he's able to adapt into this dance, but oh my god. Ooh, what a <laughs> read on that run in. What a conversion from Dan's Plat drop shine into Waveland, down strong, and just finds the kill anyways. These stocks are flying. They really are, man. And uh, how did that not hit? I love the read on there for Mikkel. Unfortunately, going to get hard punished for being literally correct. <laughs> Ooh, great platform movement there for Mikkel, and that's going to be the first stock going to him. Love the mobility there for Mikkel. Still is finding a way to stay in it, and maybe he can ex exploit uh, some of that uh, ability to get destroyed that Zetter has. Yeah, he's definitely a very volatile character, and that's what people are not like, too fond of when it comes to like, the facing run. He's so strong on the edge guard, so strong on this platform movement, which is something that Zetter also really excels in. Rano is very much a you fight this character, and it's an oh no, I'm off stage. Yeah, yeah. But regardless, Dan's not taking it very convincingly in this game one here. Not really going to be able to find much of an opportunity to make take advantage of those strengths, yeah. uh, Mikol. Uh, Danzello just kind of holding down the fort throughout yeah. the most of that game, not really finding much time off stage. Just and uh, any time he did, I mean, the only stock we saw taken was an off strong from center stage. That's I think true. Yeah, we, we have the, the yet to see Nico really be able to play around the strengths of this matchup. They were both uh, sort of very comfortable waiting on the platform in the last game, and it looks like we're opening up with the exact same thing. We are on that platform, but Dan's not scared at all. Immediately trying to counter that with those up airs. Maybe a more safe platform to wait on, unless you're at kill percent, in which case, uh, half one getting purpled at 70. Yeah, it is a little bit more committal to try to challenge a uh, character on there, but you also get a little bit more reactions if they're trying to plot drop arrows. You know? so and I think Rano especially, I actually do like the stage for Meepole personally. Low top last zone, there gonna get go. down tilt up strong. And uh, I think because of super jump, Rano has this ability to cover those top platforms like other characters can cover the lower platforms on, say, a stage like Gates or Forest Floor. Yeah, definitely. Um, most characters will have to use their double jump to get up there, which is a really scary resource to get rid of, especially if you're Zetter. But uh, Rano uh, being yeah. able to get up there. He's got that one jump. Oh my gosh, what a tech chase, but Dan's finding his way out with the tech roll. <gasps> oh, where dodge. Wait. No way, he pulls him back onto stage? You're crazy for that. Maybe looking to get what some more damage. Read. Four strong out towards the ledge. Miko honestly looking mad nice right now, but hey, if Dan showed us anything in that last set, anything can happen. Definitely one neutral interaction. And the down tilt is, could be what opens up here. Great tech from Miko, but he's out of resources out here. He's just got his air dodge back and he's gonna have to use it, but no what bad saying, DI. Man? It's so, so scary to be in the corner on this stage. Especially with characters with or with moves like that are forward air. Oh, there's a down tilt. Not gonna find the up strong. Really good DI mix up from Dan's. Definitely, definitely. Oh my gosh, he's so comfortable. He's just throwing these needles out. Even though he's down, he's great parrying. <gasps> no Dacus. And just these high recoveries getting sniped out by these forward airs, just barely gonna be able into the Is bubble. He dead? Probably. Dude. And when, yep, he's he back in the, the bubble. bubble there, and Dan's just positioning himself, knowing, okay, he's safe for now. Not gonna be able to DI into the bubble. But I love just the rinse and repeat edge guard ledge trap from Danzello. Just like, okay, you're gonna go into the bubble. I'm safe to just reset my position. You're gonna take way too much time to get back into a position that you need to recover. Miko, you see the signature finger twirl. Run it back. Absolutely. Run it back. He is looking to start this game the same way he did the last one with a crazy stock, but Danzello not to be denied his stock his stock lead, so to say. Great plot drop there from Miko, but it is going to be the sour hit, unfortunately. But big uh, string coming in here from Dan. Is that the stock eating the sour? But it doesn't matter. Miko's first stock is gone. Miko's got to stay in this. He's got to find a way to just break this wall that is Danzello. 
And Great gonna, combo there. Gonna get a combo, gonna get some nice damage. I think slightly out of your down tilt up strong range, though, but should be able to find a kill. This is Air Armada. If there's a will, there is a way. Once you are out of that down tilt uh, up there, or up strong, position, you are able to get the Dicus as well as these forward airs, which are going to be really, really nasty against that in particular. But fans, really comfortable playing back, using incredible space control, just chilling up on that Love platform. That, <gasps> oh. that purple, the 88. <laughs> Post hit. <laughs> He got the charge on that, too. What a call out from Danzello and Miko. He's kind of looking like he's at his wit's end here. The, the pull in from that forward tilt, making it so he's out of position for, to Invincible Ledge Dash. That's and it. that's it. Great showing there from Dan. It's really showing why he is the top 50 player in the